Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be possibly the most exciting video that I've ever filmed in the history of my YouTube channel. It's going to be my first and possibly one of the first Sephora New Zealand hauls. So if you guys have been living under a rock or you haven't been on social media the past couple of days slash week, you wouldn't know that Sephora has officially become available to those of us in New Zealand. So Sephora New Zealand is now open. I will leave it linked off down below. It's just sephora.nz. Basically what it is, is it is Sephora but online. So they have many, many, many brands. It's obviously not as many as they have on the American Sephora, but they have a lot of brands. And as far as I'm aware, new brands will be added regularly and the range at the moment is actually really great. You have like Marc Jacobs, Kat Von D, you obviously have the Sephora brand, you have Becca, you have so many awesome brands on there and I am very 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 excited to finally be able to pick up Sephora products from the comfort of my own home. So the way that it works is that if you spend over 75 I believe you get free shipping which is definitely worth it. I don't think the shipping price is that that low so I would definitely recommend spending over 75 which obviously isn't hard when you're buying makeup and especially when you're buying makeup from Sephora. In contrary to what most of you guys are probably thinking the prices aren't insane. Um, cause like if you look back to the other brands that have come to New Zealand and they've been like stupid price I'm actually like very 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 surprised at how affordable the products are on Sephora. For example, one of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, those are 31 New Zealand dollars. 31. Like, that's cheaper than MAC. Does that, does that excite anybody or does it just excite me? I didn't get any of those unfortunately because they were um, out of stock when I was purchasing. Speaking of out of stock, I know a few of the items are out of stock at the moment, but what do you guys expect? It's a extremely popular website and it only just launched. I will try and ask my contacts from Sephora when everything's coming back in stock and I will post it in the comments. I did just want to know that this is a merger between Luxola and Sephora. So it used to be Luxola and it's now changed to Sephora just like the Australian one. All right, I've had enough talking. I'm going to open the bag. This was sent to me before the change, which is why it still says Luxola on it. I'm guessing the bags would be Sephora now. Um, I haven't even opened this yet, so let's, let's do this. This is like the most exciting moment of my life. Here are my goodies. I am so unbelievably excited. I picked out a few things. Um, they were so lovely as to let me select what I wanted, and it was really, really hard to choose. But um, I tried to pick some things that I could do like a first impression on or I can do them in like a get getting ready like new products video so tell me whether you want to see separate videos on these or if you want me to just do like me using them all at once oh my god I think almost everything everything in here is a first for me I don't own anything from any of these brands so like okay I need to need to have some deep breaths because this is like overwhelming. I'd show you guys but it's all in bubble wrap so if I pick it up I'll drop it. Let's just start with this because this is the least breakable thing. I got a brush from Zoeva because I've heard so many good things about Zoeva brushes so I just had to try them for myself. This is what the one that I chose looks like. It's the 128, sorry 124 Grand Stippling brush. And the reason why I chose this one, oh, I like. It's very, very soft, but the reason why I chose this one was I thought it would be really good for foundation and I don't have enough, like, flat top-esque foundation brushes, but this one looks, like, a little bit less dense and more of, like, obviously a stippling brush. Feels really good and, like, the barrel and the, um, barrel, barrel, stick, the entire thing looks like it's really good quality. And I like the way that it's actually, like, I don't want to say embroidered. Like indented, it's not just like painted on the writing, so that's really really cool. I'll let you guys know how this goes. And I have a foundation that I bought to use with this, and I got the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. I am so so excited. I have wanted to try this forever. You guys may know I'm not a huge full coverage makeup wearer, which is why I don't have very many full coverage makeups, but that being said, I don't have very many, as I just said. So I wanted to buy one that is supposed to be really good. So I got the Kat Von D one. I got the shade Light 45. Yeah, so exciting. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have all seen this before. It's just a clear foundation with like the foundation inside. Let's see what the colour match is like. As far as I'm aware, this is the lighter shade. It looks like it might be a bit dark. Well, they must have a lighter shade than this, surely. Far out, this coverage is intense. That's that there on the back of my hand. Looks like it is seriously no joke full coverage. So if you guys want to see a video on the foundation, please let me know and I can either, as I said, do them all together or I can do them separately. Just let me know. Do you guys think that it's really cute that this Saliva brush came in a little pouch? Because I do. 
probably going to keep that pouch actually for when I travel. <laughs> so the next product is from Tarte and it's one of their Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes. Now when I'm putting this video up you guys cannot get Tarte on our website. As far as I'm aware it is coming to the New Zealand website so sit tight. I think the reasoning is probably stocking so yeah do stay tuned because I picked this up because I was told you guys can get it. So I picked out the shade Exposed which I am very very happy that I chose this shade. It's a really pretty like just like a very very neutral blush and you guys know that I love oh my god it's got a really nice formula. I really really like neutral blushes and this is even prettier than I thought it would be. Hopefully you can see that at the top of my hand. The reason why I picked this up is because I thought this colour would be really good for like wearing to school or just like on an everyday basis so having like a good long wearing blush I thought would be a really good idea so I chose that. When I saw that they had nude sticks I had to try out something. I hear so many good things about nude sticks so I picked up this is the lip and cheek pencil in Mystic and Whisper. I'm pretty sure this is the one that Sally used recently. If I can get it open. Oh my god, I'm really like impressed with this packaging. So obviously it comes in the tin, which I've already managed to get makeup on. Great job. But it comes with the tin and then on the inside of the tin lid is a little mirror. So you can like look in the mirror while you're doing your makeup. And then you've also obviously got a little product and you get a sharpener too, which for some reason I never knew that. So that's really, really cool. I really like that touch. Of course you have the little nude stick. As I said, I got the two-ended one because I wanted to try like you know, two things. Those are the shades there. The one at the top is Mystic, which is more of like a darker mauve. And then the one at the bottom, which is like the nudie pink, is Whisper. So I am really, really happy with the look of that. And they feel really creamy and pigmented as well. So I can't wait to use these. I almost wish I didn't have lip lipstick on so that I could give these a go, but maybe next time. So the next two products are two things I would never normally purchase for myself. And they are both from Marc Jacobs. I just couldn't resist. When I saw they had Marc Jacobs and they were like, pick whatever you want, I was like, okay. So I picked these two out. So I've got the Marc Jacobs Instamark Light Filtering Contour Powder. And I got this in the shade 20 Dream Filter. This is so huge. This is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is also the most luxurious packaging that I've ever seen in my entire life. I was like, where's the product? Just kidding. Oh. Oh my god. I don't even want to touch it. This is the most beautiful product that I own. So the one that I got, I don't know if you guys can see it down there, but it's like the pink powder and then like the kind of like mauve taupe coloured blush, well contour. The reason why I chose that one is because it was the fairest one. I was all, wasn't really sure whether to get this one or the neck shade up, which I can't remember what it's called. I was either going to get 20 or 40, but I decided on the lightest one. So hopefully this is good. Let me know if you guys have tried this, but I am so excited. Again, it's the hashtag Instamark contouring and shaping kit or something like that. So that possibly is the most beautiful product that I've ever seen in my life, but I now have one of Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palettes to open. Excuse me if I cry. I had a thing for eyeshadow palettes and I've never... Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's got a little pouch. These are their Style Icon number 7 palettes and they look like this. And I got mine in the shade 220 The Lover. Okay. I want you to see this with me when I open it. I really can't form words right now. This is so beautiful. I was really surprised by the price of this too. It was $89, which I thought was really cheap. To be honest, if you think like the um, like the Hourglass palette was like $115 at Mecca. Like this is Marc Jacobs and it's cheaper than Mecca. Like, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like cheaper than Hourglass? To me, that's like really crazy. But anyway, um, I am so in love with this. Tell me what kind of look you want to see. Do you want me to do like something with that rose gold? Do you want me to do it more like natural and neutral? But I'm definitely going to use this in a video. Oh, so basically you've got one, two, three matte shades and then this one here is kind of like a little bit shimmery and then the other ones are really nice and shimmery. So that is everything that I picked up from Sephora New Zealand. I hope that you guys enjoyed. As I said you guys can order from there right now. They have a lot of products on the site. As I said some of the more popular ones are out of stock but I did have a look the other day and I was like this close to ordering like on the launch day. I, I'd already ordered or well, got this stuff sent to me. It was on its way and I was like this close to ordering more but I held back because I'm on a spending ban but I held back. 
but they have a really good amount of stock like they obviously have like lots of stuff from Kat Von D still in stock so if you want to check that out I definitely recommend it. As I said do stay tuned to their website and make sure to follow their uh, social media because I know they are bringing out more brands so make sure you stay connected with them if you want to see if they're going to bring your favourite brand online as well. Also do stay tuned to my channel to see videos on all of these products. Please tell me if you want to see any individual reviews or if you guys just want me to do like a chatty get ready because I will probably film that for you guys tomorrow because no joke I am so so excited let me know if you guys are as excited as me for this to finally be here i feel like i've been waiting my entire life for sephora to be available in new zealand i am gonna go like touch my products and cry a little bit so i'm gonna go thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed this haul please give it a thumbs up if you can see anything on the sephora website that you want me to try i would totally love to know because you guys know i do want to try out more stuff so comment down below and maybe i can buy that and do like a review or a tutorial for you guys. Anyways, I'm going to stop blabbing. I love you guys so, so much. If you haven't already, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye. I hope these don't dry fast. I'm always up a little bit screwed. So this is the before. This is how I applied my cream contour. I look sufficiently crazy. <laughs>